to have the same target. I don't want one, I got a little skinny target, then I got a thick target. I want my pitcher to have a good target. Here's the other thing. When you're catching, and we're, we're almost done. Listen, I, I want my catcher to throw the ball where I put my glove. So if you're doing the same thing every single time, he's gonna lose focus. Or let's say your pitcher's not throwing strikes. What I like to do is I like to go out to my pitcher and say, listen, I don't want you to look at my glove. I want you to see the spot right here in my glove. I want you to throw at that spot. Maybe he's struggling because he's thinking about what the pitch coach is about to take him out, or he's worried about the runner, or he can't find his pitches. Now, I've just changed his focus from just seeing me back there to actually focusing in on a small spot on my glove, which changes, zooms everything where he needs to pitch, okay? And takes all that outside peripheral stuff out of the picture. Really huge in getting your pitcher narrowed in and throwing strikes, little things like that. The other thing is, throw me your glove real quick. When I'm, caught, when I'm putting my glove down, I'm not doing it safe. If I want that pitch down, when I give that guy that target, I might go, hey, right here, get here. In other words, that pitcher's thinking this. He's thinking, okay, breaking ball down, down and away, breaking ball down and away. All right, I got to really throw this good. What's that guy doing on first right there? He's got a pretty good lead right there, and he's forgot what he's doing, okay? I want to draw so much attention to where I want that pitch that it's in his mind. That's where I want it. Here's another, here's another one that we do. We use extras and waves, okay? A wave pitch at Venice High School, okay, or in the, in the Florida Burn system, is two to six inches off the plate is a fastball, or it may be a wave fastball up, so I know I'm throwing that ball up, or a wave breaking ball is always in the dirt, okay? Right down the middle. Wave change up, right down the middle in the dirt, because I want him to swing at that pitch. If I really don't want him to hit it, I may give him a wave slider away, so I now want it down and away. But I'm telling that pitcher, here's what I want. Don't just, don't call a slider away because you're striking this guy out and just move out there. I want him to know this has to be two to six inches off the plate. If I really got to, if you really want to throw a good pitch, you're calling your game and you know that guy's on second base or runner on second, stay with me. And you know this is a huge pitch. This guy can hit. We got a chance to strike him out with a breaking ball here or he might, we don't want him to put in play. I give an extra sign. Extra doesn't mean extra hard. It means extra focus. In other words, this has to be your best slider. Don't start thinking about that guy on second base stealing third. I gotta be quick to the plate. Is, is he gonna go? Is he gonna cover out there? And then you hang one to him. Your pitcher has a lot of things to think about. He's not thinking a lot of times the way he should be thinking. That's why you give the extra. He's like, oh, he must think this pitch is really important. I gotta make sure I bury this slider for the strikeout. And he, you'll lose that peripheral thoughts that are all over the place. Is he taking me out of the game? So you have to have some, a lot of signals to your pitcher so you get him on the same page with you, okay? You do the thinking for your pitcher. Make, give him a lot of confidence in you. Compliment him all the time. Talk about what his pitchers are doing when they're doing good. If you see he's struggling, get out there onto that mound and take his focus back off whatever he's focusing on that's causing him to struggle and get him to focus on throwing strikes. And you'll be a really successful catcher. Catchers don't have to hit a lot. They have to be a good catcher, and they got to be a guy the coach says, look, when that guy's in the game, we win. When that catcher's in the game, we win, whether you're hitting them in or not. That's the guy I want back there. And when you throw the ball to second base, you throw it accurately. You get the guys you should get, and you don't get the guys you don't if you're an accurate thrower, okay? A lot of pitch, you know, stuff is, is stolen on the, on the pitchers anyways. It's not on the catchers. Anybody got any questions? Anybody? All right, good deal, guys. You, we're going to play 